Get ready for a movie adventure like no other. Welcome to Flashback Videos, where we compare and contrast movies from the past and present. From classics to the biggest blockbusters, we'll take you on a journey through the evolution of movies. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see the magic. We couldn't do this without you, so if you love movies, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll never miss a chance to see your favourite movies in a whole new light. Today's flashback movie is 1977's fantasy epic space opera, Star Wars A New Hope. Ok, so with all that being said, let's do this. A long time ago, in a universe where the galaxy is ruled by the tyrannical galactic empire, the Rebel Alliance is aiming to destroy the empire's newest weapon, the Death Star. Written and directed by George Lucas, A New Hope was released by Lucasfilm in May 1977, with a running time of two hours. The movie was filmed in Guatemala, with a budget of just $11 million, but went on to gross a staggering $775 million worldwide. The Imperial forces, under orders from cruel Darth Vader, hold Princess Leia hostage as they try to quell the rebellion against the Galactic Empire. Though now known as Episode 4 A New Hope, for many of us, mainly those who first saw the movie in the theatre back in 77, this will always be the first Star Wars. We will always think of it as just Star Wars, plain and simple. This is where we first met the characters that became instant pop culture icons. Luke Skywalker, the young man raised by his aunt and uncle on Tatooine, was portrayed by actor, voice artist and writer Mark Richard Hamill, who was born in California in 1951. Hamill's early career began with a recurring role on the soap opera General Hospital, and he starred on the Texas Wheelers before his friend Robert England, yes, he of Nightmare on Elm Street fame, suggested that he audition for the role of Skywalker. Hamill's first serious love was his General Hospital co-star Anne Wyndham, but since 1978, he's been married to dental hygienist Mary Lou York, and they have three children together. The cynical smuggler and captain of the Millennium Falcon, Han Solo, was portrayed by Hollywood legend Harrison Ford, who was born in Illinois in 1942. Ford initially signed a $150 a week contract with Columbia Pictures in 1964, and appeared in a number of small and uncredited roles, but went on to become a self-taught professional carpenter. He finally got an audition with George Lucas, going on to appear as Bob Falfa in 1973's American Graffiti, before eventually landing this starring role in Star Wars. Ford has been married three times, with four biological children and one adopted child. The princess of the planet Alderaan, Princess Leia Organa, who is secretly one of the leads of the Rebel Alliance, was portrayed by actress and writer Carrie Francis Fisher, who was born in Burbank in 1956. The daughter of singer Eddie Fisher and actress Debbie Reynolds, Carrie made her movie debut as the precociously seductive Lorna Carp in 1975's Shampoo, before shooting to fame with this role. Carrie died in 2016 after she stopped breathing on a flight from London to Los Angeles. The aging Jedi Master and veteran of the Clone Wars Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi, was portrayed by the late great Alec Guinness de Cuff, who was professionally known as just Alec Guinness and was born in London in 1914. His career began in the advertising industry before making his mark with his speaking debut in 1946's Great Expectations. With a long and successful career, Guinness starred in the likes of Scrooge and Brother Son Sister Moon. Having been married to artist, playwright and actress Marula Sylvia Salomon since 1938, Guinness died from prostate cancer in 2000. Han Solo's trusty sidekick and the first mate of the Millennium Falcon, Chewbacca, was played by British-American actor Peter William Mayhew, who was born in England in 1944. With a peak height of over 7 feet, Mayhew gained his first acting job when the producers of 1977's Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger 
discovered him from a photograph and cast him in the role of a Minoton. Living in Texas, Mayhew had been married to Mary Angelique Angie Luca since 1999, but having undergone double knee replacement surgery in 2013, died from a heart attack in 2019. Obi-Wan's former Jedi apprentice, the evil Darth Vader, who fell to the dark side of the Force, was played by actor, bodybuilder and weightlifter David Charles Prowse, who was born in England in 1935. It should be noted that although Prowse acted the role, the voice was provided by the great James Earl Jones. Prior to his role as Vader, Prowse had established himself in the United Kingdom playing the Green Cross Man in the Green Cross Code's road safety campaign. A father of three children, Prowse had been married to Norma Scammell since 1978, but died from Covid-19 in 2020. The astromech droid R2-D2 was played by actor, comedian and musician Kenneth George Baker, who was born in England in 1934. In addition to the Star Wars franchise, Baker has also appeared in movies such as The Elephant Man, Time Bandits, Willow, Flash Gordon, Amadeus and Labyrinth. Living in Preston, Lancashire, Baker had been married to actress Eileen Baker since 1970 until she died in 1993, and he also died in 2016 after an illness. British actor and mime artist Anthony Daniels, who was born in England in 1946, played the protocol droid C-3PO who was fluent in over 6 million forms of communication. Daniels had played C-3PO in all of the Star Wars feature movies, except Solo A Star Wars Story, starting with this, the original installment. But allegedly, he did not get along with R2-D2 actor Kenny Baker. He's also appeared intermittently on British TV in various dramas, including a recurring role in Prime Suspect with Helen Mirren. Daniels has been married to writer Christine Savage since 2013. A legend of the horror genre, with a career spanning more than six decades, Peter Wilton Cushing, who was born in England in 1913, played the part of Grand Moff Tarkin, the commander of the Death Star. Cushing made his stage debut in 1935, with his movie debut coming in 1939's The Man in the Iron Mask, but he gained worldwide fame for his appearances in horror films, particularly as Dr. Van Helsing in the Dracula movies. But he's also memorable as a detective Sherlock Holmes. He was married to Violet Helen Beck until her death in 1971, and he himself died from prostate cancer in 1994. Luke's aunt Beryl, whom he lived with on Tatooine, was played by Sheila Mary Fraser, who was born in England in 1920. Sheila began her acting career on the stage, and in addition to her role in Star Wars, was known for appearing in a number of TV shows, including as embattled mother Jean Ashton in A Family at War. She was once married to screenwriter and director Anthony Squire, but they divorced, and she died in London in 2000. Now, as I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button, or even subscribe to the channel. You know you want to, and it is free.